All right, all right, all right. So, hey, QCS Build fans. So, we're back again. Um, so, we're going to do something a little bit different. I think I have figured out how to record my desktop using my Radeon software with my 5700 XT. So, we're going to hopefully this is going to work the way I want it to. Anyways, so, um, we've got the server all built. And we're gonna go ahead and load Windows on it. Well, we didn't put a, C, uh, a CD slash DVD drive in this machine. So with that, uh, it means we can't load it from the disk. So we have to take that and we have to convert it to a USB drive. Um, Microsoft does not make this easy for you at all, period, whatsoever, which sucks. <laughs> it's not like Windows 10 where you can just download the media creator utility and just make the, the stinking flash drive. Uh, no, server, they have to make everything difficult because, well, it's Microsoft. So that's okay. We can always work away or find a workaround to skin that cat. So that's what we're doing. So um, as you can see right now, uh, welcome to the web page and... Uh, Yes, I know, it needs to be updated. I've got some plans for it, so maybe, hopefully, I will get those done next month. Um, so, until then, it's going to look like a oh, almost 20-year-old webpage, because it is. <laughs> so, anyways, alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Alright, so, here is our flash drive that we're going to go ahead and create. Now with this flash drive, we have got to do a couple of things. Um, we have got to format it um, for NTFS right here. So because of the uh, Windows installer file for server is over four gigs in size and it will not address in FAT32, so we have to use NTFS so we can use 64-bit file sizing. So yay to that. So all right. So and I always just default allocation size. And we can just leave it as a Hyundai. And we're going to quick format. And, oh my god, we're going to erase everything. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Not a big deal. And it kind of grays out. It's going to sit there for a minute. And oh, it instantly completes. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. All right, so we got that. And we're going to go back. And then we're going to go here. And there's our drive. And we're going to go back and look at the properties, and it says NTFS right there. Awesome. Okay, sweet. Now, all right, so that was fun and easy. So this other USB drive, this is actually the uh, drive that I use to uh, install Windows on the server. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that one out. And we're going to plug our CD drive in. Now, I do not have a server uh, 2019 disk um, that actually stayed with the last server, which I gave to the clients. Um, but I did make an ISO copy of that um, for my own record, so that way I wouldn't ever have to buy the disk again. I could just buy the product key. So... Um, but yes, I do have the ISO. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a uh, Windows uh, 10 disk. Um, and we're going to use this great little program that's called ISO. Nope, not ISO. Magic ISO. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go down here. And we are going to 
go right here. Let's see, where is our disk drive? I plug in, oh, plug in the right black USB cables there, smarty pants. All right. <laughs> like, why is it not showing up? And wait for Windows. Ah, there it is. Okay, look at that. Fancy, fancy. All right, so now we're gonna go here. We're gonna go right here. All right, CD drive. Voila. All right, so we're gonna go. Okay, so first things first, we have to take this guy. Whoops. And we have to go over here and select all. And move the thing up here. And we're going to create an ISO. Alright, so there's that. And we can go in here and we can rename this and we can call it Win 10 64 ISO. Alright, so then, now there is a utility. This will um, burn it to DV. Uh, that'll make an image file. Okay, so we got everything set up here. So we're gonna click this little guy right here. Make CD image from file or CD-ROM. So we're gonna hit this. Uh, we're gonna create our output file, which is gonna be our desktop. That's gonna be win 10 ISO. And we're going to change the file type. We're going to make a standard ISO. Okay. And create CD image. Hit OK. And it's going to sit here and cook. So it's going to sit here and cook for quite a while because it's going to take roughly about mm, six gigs of data and smoosh it. This is a two-step process. So this is step one we have to take and create the ISO. Step two will be we'll actually go through and we'll create or we'll extract the ISO to the flash drive. Um, that way it'll make it bootable. And so um, unfortunately you can't just take the CD files and just copy them straight over um, because the files in the on the CD or DVD are... Um, our CD, our optical disk file uh, file format, um, and so the boot uh, capability will not work properly. Um, so you have to kind of go through this workaround to be able to make this work. So, all right. So this is going to sit here and do its thing. It's going to take us about oh, probably about ten minutes or so. So we're going to edit for time, and we'll be right back. And voila, we are done. So now we're going to take and we're going to open our file that we just created. Uh, yep, there we go. And as you can see, it's five gigs. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Okay. All right, so now we're going to extract. And we're going to extract it to our high on day drive. Okay, and of course we can see that it's empty, so we don't have to over <clears throat> override anything. And we don't have to open it either. So we already have it open. All right, so it's going to sit here and it's going to extract. Now, the one nice thing about, now, one thing I'm noticing here, so the, the percentage going across the screen right here, 
So right here in this area. This is for this particular file. It's not for the entire process. So <clears throat> that's kind of one thing. It doesn't give you a, a, a total um, percentage complete kind of a thing. So this is going to go fairly quick uh, just because of the fact that it is we're extracting to USB 3. And so it uh, won't take that long. So, all right. Uh, we'll uh, check back with you in just a minute. And it's done. So there you go. So that is one created bootable flash drive for Windows. Same process would work for uh, if you had uh, Windows 7, 8, 10, or server uh, 2008 through uh, 2019. So there you go. Now you can just take that newly created flash drive and throw it in your machine. And you're all good to go. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have questions, uh, definitely comment. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. So we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install a server on our new server. So uh, see you then. Bye for now.